Welcome back to This versus That, brought to you by our friends at Hawk Performance. Without these guys, we couldn't do this show. Looks like we got ourselves a race today. Yes, we do. We got uh, American stuff with half the engine hanging out of the hood. We got Japanese stuff with, with a giant intercooler stuffed in the front and drag radials out with, back. With half the tire sticking out the back. Yeah, as I say, yeah. a car that normally has <laughs> flush fitment is now poking. I love seeing those cars in drag form, so let's go ahead. Yeah. Oh man, how's it going, man? Oh, we know you. Yeah, of course. we know Dude. you. This is, this is your friend. He's technically the chop master. Uh, I supply him chop daddy. with the yeah. chop. Yeah, he's my chop dealer. That's Lee Chop, chop, my chop, chop officer. Dealer. You're the head chop in charge. That's right. So if uh, if you don't know this gentleman, this is Jacob. The, the, just introduce yourself, bro. Yep. My name is Jacob Velamain. I'm the general manager at Smetting Performance, and this is Ricky, my standing mile C5 Corvette. Just Ricky, not Ricky Bobby. Just straight Ricky. <laughs> That was the stupidest nickname I've ever heard. Did you strap up in some New Balance just for this race? You got to stay comfortable and stable. <laughs> you like that. News. You're on brand with the car. I live fashion. I am fashion. So obviously this looks like full race car mode. This you want to just pop, just pop the hood. Yeah, pop it up. Business. Oh, it leans forward, man. We got to bring it around, Diego. Right. Ooh. Uh, All right. So give so us give us the rundown, man. Yep. So this is a Smetting Performance 402 cubic inch power adder LS3. It's actually set up for twin turbo, so the compression is cut really low, and it's got a small turbo cam, but we're helping it with a bunch of nitrous, so yeah. it should yeah, work pretty plates. well. Uh, you say a bunch of, like, how much is a bunch of nitrous? Uh, there are jets in it. Well, so, considering it was built for twin turbos. And it can handle make, a lot of power. probably got 400 shot in this bad boy. Not quite that much. <laughs> We're <laughs> limited. You, you, aim high. you gotta aim high. <laughs> you gotta aim high. Yeah, you no, know, it's turned down quite a bit just for the traction. We'll see on our Let's test set if it Let's handles. It Where's this intake from? So I'll start top and go down. It's a sheer fabrication lid on top of a Holly high ram that then feeds into our Smetting 11 degree aftermarket casting LS3 heads. Underneath all of that to hold it together. I've got a smetting crank and our power adder H beam connecting rod with some good forged pistons. That sums up the motor pretty much. I was expecting turbos and stuff. I didn't expect yeah. it to be yeah. naturally aspirated. Especially just, when you see the clamp. Yeah, that makes it so easy to work on. But underneath the motor, I've got a full TRZ tubular front suspension with some real nice spindle mount brakes. Behind the motor is a Tilton seven inch triple disc, like a NASCAR style circle track clutch. That's right, baby, Tilton. You just keep saying drift car things. This yeah, is right. the, <laughs> well, it's, it's, standing, it's standing miles, so it's just, you know, full power, nothing else really matters, uh, super lightweight. That's why we put on the slicks now for drag racing, just to see what it does. When you say this is a standing mile car, what does that mean exactly? Yep, so standing mile racing is one car at a time from a stop to a mile. How okay. fast are you going? What did this thing do in a standing mile? With a 200 shot, we went 206 <laughs> with like a 15 mile an hour headwind, so it could have gone a little faster, but that was the best run we could get out of that weekend. 206. 206 yeah. miles an hour. About 70. 800 RPM in fifth gear, so, just singing the motor. So how much power is this thing making? It makes 550 NA, being 10 and a half to one with a turbo cam, and then plus the bottle on top. That's all you need to go 200? In a vet, yeah. It's really lightweight. It's got optic armor windows front and rear, so they're plasticky and Lexan. <laughs> oh, that was sick. Do that again, ah. show the camera. I like that you're running tent dope. on the Lexan. I got oh, yeah. a couple 500 horsepower cars. I don't think they go 200. Mine don't. All right, just making sure. Yeah, you're not alone. Why aren't our 500 <laughs> horsepower cars doing 200? <laughs> you don't yeah. have enough nitrous on top. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> that's what you're missing. No, you're so. supposed to say you, uh, you don't help. have a Smitty engine. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, we yeah. teed that up for yeah, you. Yeah, you. <laughs> you blew it, B. What do you got going on inside? So inside, pretty typical stuff. Uh, full containment, Kirky seat with another Kirky in the passenger. Harnesses, parachute releases up top. And then on my steering wheel, I've got my two-step and nitrous activation. What kind of shifter is that? It's just an MGW H-pattern shifter. It's still an H-pattern car. It's just face-plated, so there's no synchronizers in the transmission. It's like the cheater before sequential. Right. I want to hear it real bad, but I'll wait until you fire it up. Can we have them fire it off now? I mean, yeah. I want to hear it. Oof. Well, I'm gonna throw a 9.5 out there, and uh, you know what? Extra points because it's like sounds like it's barely able to stay alive. It's always a choice. <laughs> all right, well that was great. Well, let's go across seas here and check out what all this is about with all the tire poking out the back. Across the Pacific. 
What's going on, guys? We got Hoonigan's Donk here. See, going into this, we just wanted to build the ultimate street cruiser. So we got some sweet bear calipers on here, but we like to match those bear calipers with a sweet pad. So we got an HPS 5.0 for our street driving. When we take the Donk drag racing, we switch it out to these DR97, which have been engineered to work specifically for drag racing. You want to know why? It's because the DR97 offers incredible cold performance. Go to the link below to get your Hawk products right now. You buy any Hawk product today and you can get 25% off for a limited time at the Hoonigan store. All right, first things first, before you introduce yourself, what color is your car? Uh, the stock Zenki color, so we added a little bit more pearl to it. We'll just let them vote and then not listen to what they say. So we kind of made our own color. Is it blue or green? It's green. Ah, so kinda, told you. Did I say it was blue? It looks blue in here. <laughs> told hey, you. What color In is the it? dark, though, it kind of changes. Yeah, but it's it green. It kind of looks blue. But it's green. No! Introduce yourself and tell us what you brought here. I'm uh, Basan Kataf from Lodi. We have a shop in Lodi called Dynasty Performance, and I bought my 1996 Nissan 240SX here. You said Lodi? Yeah, Lodi. Where's that? Right next to Stockton. Oh, that's in America. Welcome to North. Well, welcome home. <laughs> it's in California. Yeah. yeah I don't know us. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, this thing's like, you know, it's got some sort of setup. I'm assuming this is like Mondo Sleeper, given the uh, the poke in the back. Yeah. You mind just, you mind just popping the hood? This thing is clean. It's just a stock yeah. I saw an intercooler. Despite, so. despite anything, it's really clean. It is very clean. Is this a true 98? It's a 96. Oh, okay. I didn't hear that. It's still cool. What is the difference? Are you talking about They have like different gears? front ends. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sauce. Build the car you want. Look at See, that. That. Doesn't they have two more cylinders than it's supposed to? I think so. <laughs> we added them. You okay. made it reliable by putting a Toyota motor exactly. in it. Exactly. <laughs> so what's the setup here? What are we looking at? So we got a, a fully built 2JZ. Bottom end has CP pistons and uh, BC rods. And that's about it. To be honest with you, a stock crank, no main caps. And then uh, it's a built head with a fully built valve train and 272 BC cams. What okay. fuel are you running on? Uh, E85. It's just a double pumper in the back. It's a uh, two 450s with a, just a regular fuel hanger. What's up with the turbo? What's the setup here? So it's a Garrett Reb. It's a 67, 66. Pushes out 35 psi. What kind of power? 800. Liar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, right right. So what no, really say? puts out 800. All right, all right. I had to say it. You got to yeah. test them. You know, when the IETs get hot, it might go down a little bit, but that all depends on okay. like, the weather. It's full of shit. I know. You're on 35 pounds right now. Yeah. So what do you run like uh, transmission? And it's a CDO9. So it has a CDO9 adapter plate. The CDO9 is out of a 350Z, and it has a 350Z rear end. I just wadded it up real quick to be honest with you, because it's not really a dig car. It's mostly a roll car. What kind of roll racing do you do? I mean, like the lowest. I've done is a 40. Okay. But now that we have these tires on there, we'll see what it does. All right, it's beautiful on the outside, beautiful under the hood. What do you got going on in the interior? So for the interior, for the most part, it's all stock, except for some gauges. It just got bright bucket seats, some gauges. That's <laughs> Still pretty got clean. got a stereo in there. Looks like a 240. And then it has an already steering wheel. Yeah, super unassuming. You can just put T37s on and people wouldn't know it's a thousand horsepower. Jersey. Yeah, 800 horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> we got streetcar versus streetcar, man. What size, yeah. by the way, what size uh, rears are you running here? Uh, 15, 15 by 8s. Oh, and sick. they're just uh, 275, 50, 15s. We just mounted these like two days ago. So. Poking so much. So, yeah, because this, uh, this is the only backspacing we could get. If not, it would be pulled in more. You think you're going to have trouble having your 900 hook up? 800. <laughs> <laughs> Tried. Uh, Tried. Somewhat we'll warm them up and then go from there. Well, that's enough about these cars. Let's talk about racing. Them. Yeah. With standard practice on the show, right? We run it from a dig, thousand foot heads up, and then from there we can negotiate. If it's mm -hmm. one of these things where both of you guys just can't get these out of the hole without terrible things happening, we can negotiate a roll from the back, go from there. Is that, that cool? Sounds awesome. good. Got to go with my boy Jacob. America. Your boy's definitely lying about his horsepower on that field, TJ. <laughs> right? Right, he's got to be lying. I'm gonna go vet on this one. I don't want to call that man a liar, but 35 pounds of boost plus 2JZ plus built 2JZ doesn't usually only equal 800 horsepower. And I don't know if he's lying about how much nitrous he's spraying. So both of these guys are liars, so they both lose. <laughs> What is that thing? You don't even know either, do you? That's an S14. Bigger color. With a zinky thingy. I'm going red car. My mind is telling me no, but my body, my body's telling me vet. I don't know what to tell you, but I'm not going with that vet. Ain't nothing wrong. I'm going for the 240. <laughs> Give a roll!
Did it happen when you made a gear selection and came off yeah. the clutch and that, or was it just power? Just power. Wouldn't happen if you had RB. That's a, the, that's, the like, that's like more dangerous than just staying in it. I think you should roll the roll. Boat. Yeah. That seems to be the, like the, the 60 yeah. roll or yeah, something. Yeah, that seems yeah. to be like yeah. the good neutralizer. Hell no! <laughs> There's a weight limit! So check it out. I think both of you guys should probably go from a roll to make it a little more even. Yes, sir. Are you caught cool that? Would you want to do it from a roll? I had great traction. But yeah, we can do a roll one. What would you like to roll from? I think you're kind of in the same boat. Higher is better. Yeah. So 50? 50's fine with me. I got a parachute, we're good. What you got in that jug? Water and thinner. Clean the tires off, it ain't prep. Water and thinner? Water and rag, lag or thinner. Tracking left. Man. We got official word on that or? I think they saw the yeah, dust kick up and they both kind of let off, but the Nissan probably finished line first. No way! He let off because of the dust. Yeah, he started to finish so I, I got scared and I let out. Alright, well we gotta redo that. We'll just redo that run. We just gotta we just gotta redo that. Because okay. y'all both let off before the finish. He keeps walking to the left. Yeah. He keeps puckering her up. He's scared now to pull it back to the right. S4T's pretty fast, huh? Corvette by a car. Corvette by a car. Your Corvette, no? No, you said both of them lose. Your Corvette. Mm. How'd you feel out there? Pretty good, man, but it's uh, at the top it's kind of spinning. At the top of third, but... At the top of third, third. it's yes. spinning. It looks Even, like it's getting yeah. a little loose, man. Yeah, I mean, so I have to pedal like, it. I saw both of you guys like... <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I ended up just going all motor on that. I wasn't even on the juice. I was just real slippery out there. Well done, boys. You want to do you some burnouts? Let us begin. <laughs> Chalk that up as a, I don't know. This is the closest race we've ever had. 